So that is why uh, we administer the drugs to attempt to regulate that so they can do it on its own. Wow. I now can understand why this is such a devastating disease. It, it really is. And so much insulin being constantly pumped into the circulation lowers blood glucose levels uh, to devastating levels, dangerous levels even. Uh, and if left untreated, he could be left with permanent uh, brain damage. Exactly. So they experiment him on diazoxide and chloral thiazide. Um, the diazoxide is supposed to open those potassium channels and <coughs> this repolarizes the cell and regulates the release of insulin. And the chloral thiazide is supposed to counteract the water retaining effects of the diazoxide because it's a diuretic. That's right. But the drugs didn't see effect, did they? No, the drugs don't seem to be working, and they offer to start them on other drugs, but they don't have much hope for those either. They say our only and final option is surgery. And, and yes, Lisa, uh, it's typical that a surgery is done for this problem. It does depend on how, the, how severe the problem is. Uh, there are two forms of hyperinsulinism, uh, one being diffused and one being focal. And uh, focal is caused by uh, mutations in the father's given chromosome, which results in localized uh, damaged cells or mutated beta cells, uh, which means they're usually clumped together in one area uh, of the pancreas, and therefore only a partial pancreatectomy would be required uh, to fix this problem. But if it comes down to, you know, Chad having diffuse hyperinsulinism, uh, it could be a major problem because most of his genes are mutated in his, in his beta cells, uh, which could be resulting in a 95% uh, pancreatectomy, and this could definitely be a problem uh, because some um, some causes or some side effects that can definitely include uh, diabetes or hyperglycemia. Oh no, knowing that our only option is surgery, my husband and I, we don't know what to do. I'm unemployed and he doesn't make much money as a garbage man. There's no way we can afford the surgery. Well, Lisa, we have a little surprise for you after this. Welcome back. We've been talking with Lisa about her son Chad and his condition, hyperinsulinism. Before the break, Lisa was telling you about how hard it's been and how she's in a hard predicament. Her son Chad is dying in the hospital. I think we have a clip of him. Wait, we have a clip. <laughs> this is Chad. He's in an incubator and he's not doing so well. He's dying <laughs> and he's life-saving surgery, so they, but they can't afford it. Lisa? Us here at the Angel Network would like to donate something to you. We have a little surprise. Dr. Oz, will you do the honor? Of course, Oprah. Right. Well, Lisa, as we all know, surgeries can be very expensive, and we understand where you're coming from. So Oprah and her foundation have uh, great, uh, graciously given up $50,000 uh, to help you out with your medical bills, and so Chad can have a surgery. Oh, my God! Welcome back. Four months ago, Lisa was on our show discussing how her son Chad has hyperinsulinism. So Lisa, how did that surgery go after? Oh, it went great. Fortunately, Chad's condition wasn't as bad as it could have been. It turned out that he only had focal hyperinsulinism, so only a very small portion of his pancreas had to be removed. And was the surgery successful? Oh, it was very successful. He's fully recovered. After the surgery, he was put on low dextrose infusions along with a little bit of insulin until his needs for both diminished. And now he's able to maintain his blood glucose levels all on his own. Well, that's fantastic, Lisa. This is a great news uh, and very good outcome for this type of surgery. Uh, most partial pancreatectomies are successful, and he's fortunate he didn't have diffused hyperinsulinism because it would have resulted in a full pancreatectomy, uh, which could have led to complications such as diabetes and hyperglycemia as a result of pancreatic insufficiency. Great story, compelling and rich. Thanks, Lisa, for coming back. And Dr. Oz? Oh, it's always a pleasure. And Lisa, thanks once again. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And we'll see you next time where Brangelina will be here.